what's up everybody welcome back to another video from exotic astrology and today we will continue with our series on the fire of inspirations we will see today who is our best 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 of the best of the best and the most well-wishing friend of not you of not me of everybody yes do you want to know who he is <laughs> <laughs> I will tell and I will tell you from where I have got the answer. <laughs> Why I have made this video? Because Jupiter has moved into the sign of Libra. If you have not watched the video on Jupiter's transit into Libra, then please go and watch. And if you are new to my channel and you have not subscribed yet, then please subscribe to it and Click in the notifications bell so that you get the updates when I upload the videos via mail. And if you want a personal consultation with me, then my phone number is there down below. You can message me in WhatsApp or email me. And before beginning, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you find your best friend. <laughs> Today is a cloudy day here in Germany, so I thought, why not make a video on friendship? <laughs> Suddenly something just comes out of the air and I'm like, I should make this video now. Now, we have many friends, right? We have had friends in school, in our high school, during our college, when we were doing our masters, or when we were doing our job or when we are doing our job or, or when we are doing our business or when we are opening our company we have had many friends female friends male friends yes so many we have had neighbors we have had childhood friends so many if you count maybe the number exceeds 200 yes or maybe 500 for some people <laughs> And sometimes we have friends in YouTube, like I have all of you. <laughs> but the question to be asked is, who is a friend first of all? Let me take a pause. <laughs> who is a friend? That is my question. What do you think? Who is a friend? Well, well, yes, answer me. I know what you're thinking. There are different definitions of friends in scriptures. I will not go into the technical part. There are, there are definitions like Mitra, Surid, Bandhu. Okay, there are four kinds of friends, they say. But what I'm going to speak here is, how do you define a friend? There are many definitions. One who helps you in need. One who protects you when you are about to die emotionally or physically <laughs> or when you or when somebody gives you company when you are undergoing a difficult time or when somebody makes some things easy for you or when people share your burden and ultimately when people share your happiness yes they are known as friends at the same time we have to know what the scriptures, the divine scriptures, the Veda, the Vedas, the Upanishads, the Puranas, the Gita, the Bible, the Quran, the Srimad Bhagavatam, the Ramayana, the Mahabharat, what they say about friends. Are you interested to know? Well, I was also interested to know when I heard about this. What does the age old, the timeless wisdom of the scriptures say regarding friends? before seeing who should be our friend or not well we have our friends there's no doubt about it okay there's no problem in having friends but what the scripture says we should see this one very fundamental quality in them before we become deep friends with somebody the quality is are they having inquisitiveness about God consciousness should I repeat <laughs> are they inquisitive to know about God 
and who they are and what they are doing. Yes, does it sound infamiliar or familiar? <laughs> it's for you to decide. Because the ultimate goal of life is to obtain spiritual perfection. That is what the scriptures say. That means those people who help us obtain that, they are our real friends. Yes, because when you stay in the company of those people, they may be your friends or they may not be your friends. You will be motivated to carry on in your journey towards God. Now, if you do not have the company of such people, what to do? Find such people. If you do not have, then you can't sit and cry. Oh, why do I don't have such people? Go and find people who belong to this category and make friendships with them. Because who is ultimately a friend? The scriptures say, one who can help you at the time of your death, he is your only friend. <laughs> Why only at the time of death? Scriptures say he is your real friend. Because at the time of your death, at the last moment, nobody can help you. <laughs> All the doctors have surrendered, the surgeons have said, we are done, okay? Maybe your parents are not alive, maybe your children, they are settled in some country. <laughs> your relatives, maybe all of them are there, maybe your father, your mother, your son, your wife, your husband, maybe everybody is there around you when you are leaving this body. But the question is, can they help you at that time? Can they? They cannot. Yes. Why they cannot? Because they are on the material realm, on this mundane realm. Whenever somebody is in the mundane realm, they cannot show us the light beyond this realm. Which means they cannot help us to look to God. And Lord Krishna says in the Gita that whatever state a person remembers during the time of his death, that is the state he shall attain. Yes? Have you read this shloka? No? <laughs> Please go and read it. It's there in the Gita. That means if you are thinking of your dog when you are dying, <laughs> which is very evident in the western countries and especially even today in countries like India. Then what, where, what happens to you as per this definition? You may become a dog in the next life. <laughs> because you are thinking of the dog. If you are thinking of your wife when you pass away, then the next body that you take may be of a female. And if you are thinking of your husband, then the next body may be which you take is of a male. If you are thinking of whatever, <laughs> well, you decide what you want to think. At the same time, in the same Gita, Lord Krishna also says that if somebody remembers me at the time of his death, then he will come back to me without fail. And once he reaches me, it is there in that sloka. Yad gatva na nivartante taddhama paramamama. He will not return back to this mortal world. Which goes to tell us that if we have company of friends who are aligned with that purpose, which will help us ultimately at the time of our greatest helplessness, at the hour of need, which is when everything has fallen apart and we have collapsed and we are about to leave this body. At that time, if somebody can remind us of God, 
then he is your true friend because friendship means to benefit you anything which benefits you any person who benefits you you call him a friend and enemy is any person who takes away your happiness right so at the time of your greatest need the person who can help you he is your true friend he is your only true friend not the one who you sat 10 years in school next to next touching body <laughs> not the one with whom you will spend the rest of your life with maybe they are if they fall in this domain if they are not well then they do not belong to that category because whatever help they can do is only till the time you are alive the moment you are about to leave your body that is the time you are in the state of utter helplessness that is the time you need somebody the most and that is the time when nobody can help you nobody and ultimately i want to say do you know who is the most well wishing friend <laughs> in the same gita lord krishna says suri the sarva bhutana i am the most well wishing friend of all the living entities everybody that is why i keep saying in the videos <laughs> god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him now you understand why i say krishna says to arjuna that i am seated in everybody's heart this i already spoke in a video called somebody wants you <laughs> which many of you have liked if you have not watched that video then go and watch that video somebody wants you it is there in this playlist itself now why does krishna say that i am the most well wishing friend of everybody because at the time of our greatest need which is that time when we are about to leave our body he is the only person that can help us there is nobody else that can help us yes he is the only person who can help us because god is the only one who can give us his remembrance during our last moments and if you remember him whichever tradition you are connected to either it is the islamic tradition or the christianity or you are a buddhist or whatever is entitled as per your authorized scripture i am not speaking of hinduism here it can be any authorized legal bona fide tradition you will obtain that destination without fail because this is what god promises even jesus christ says i am the only way now when jesus says i am the only way people take him in a wrong sense people think that jesus is telling christianity is the only way no that doesn't mean so when jesus says i am the only way it simply means that you follow what i am saying what what did what did jesus say ultimately he said follow the 10 commandments love god with all heart and soul thou shall not kill yes these are the 10 commandments and whenever we follow the 10 commandments those are the same principles which are there even in the quran and in the gita also there is no difference principle wise it is the same all the underlining principles of every bona fide tradition is the same irrespective of when it was founded who founded it because their goal is one goal is to obtain the supreme yes so whenever you follow the tradition which you are connected to provided it is an authorized tradition of whichever parampara you are connected to then whatever is promised in the scripture contain pertaining to that specific tradition that destination you will attain without fail 
which goes to say that if you are a very devout Muslim, you will obtain the destination of whatever the Quran entitles you to. Yes, same is if you are a Christian and same is if you are a follower of the Vedic tradition. Yes, so at the end you have to understand that whoever can help you at your last moment, he is your best friend. <laughs> So when we are living in this mundane world, we have to make sure that we place ourselves in the company of such people who helps us to remember God at the time of our greatest need. Because that will decide where we go. That decides the Gati. Gati means direction. What happens ultimately? Where we land up, that is Gati. And if you don't find anybody like that, then always remember there is one person who is always there. And who is? He is God himself. Because God says that I am the best well-wishing friend of everybody. Because he can never wish bad for anybody. He can never do bad to anybody. Whatever suffering we are undergoing is part of our own karma. Yes, sometimes people ask. Oh, if God is so great, then why is there so much suffering? Well, if you do wrong activities, will you not suffer? <laughs> I will come to suffering, karma, God later. But this is the agenda of the video. To tell everyone that even if you are lonely, you do not have friends. Or if you have friends and they make you end up feeling lonely. <laughs> Which is the case these days with many people, right? <laughs> 500 friends in Facebook and still lonely, committing suicide out of loneliness. <laughs> it's terrible. So, either you have friends and you feel as if you do not have friends or you do not have any friends at all. This video is for you. Or you are somewhere in between. <laughs> this video is also for you. Always remember there is one person who is always there with you in your heart. Because Krishna says that in the Gita that Ishwara Sarva Bhutanam Riddeshe Arjuna Tishthati My dear Arjuna, I am situated in the heart of every living being. Whenever the living being will turn to me, he will see me. <laughs> okay, that is it from my side. If you have any questions, queries and comments, then please let me know and... Anytime you feel lonely, depressed, down or helpless, <laughs> then always remember, always take out the Gita or the Bible and read. By that you will know how to feel connected to the person who is your most loving, well-wishing friend. Yes. And on a practical level, we should find people with whom when we sit, we discuss topics on spirituality rather than only discussing who won the cricket match. <laughs> because the match is anyways going to continue. Either you discuss about it or you don't. That is the definition of a yogi. <laughs> the yogi knows what is going to benefit me and what is not in the long run. Yogi is not one who is meditating in the Himalayas. That is a very wrong concept of a yogi. He may be meditating in the Himalayas and he may be thinking of a cheese pizza. <laughs> or you might be in this world and you might be thinking of God, which means you are a yogi because Lord Krishna also says, Yogi namapi sarvesham madgate nantaratmana Shraddhavan bhajate yoma samay yuktatamo mataha One who is always thinking of me is the greatest of all yogis. There you go. Lord Krishna is certifying you as a yogi if you are always thinking of him. And the same teaching is there in every other tradition that think of God all the time. <laughs> okay. So if you feel bad 
lonely depressed then please watch this video again <laughs> and until next time i wish you good luck and i hope that you find friends like these who i mentioned so that you can help yourself and also uplift others until next time bye bye see you